Hi, I'm Steph from Expert Home Tips and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your dishwasher. Now, you may think that your dishwasher doesn't need cleaning as it makes your dishes so sparkly, but in fact there can be a buildup of lime scale, um, there can be food residue, the filters can become clogged so it's really important to maintain your dishwasher regularly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that in five simple steps. We're going to start by looking at how your dishwasher works so we can get a better understanding of how and what needs cleaning. So when you press go on your dishwasher, the water fills up a couple of inches at the base of the dishwasher. Heating elements then heat the water to about 60 degrees C and then it is pumped around the dishwasher to the spray arms. The spray arms are normally situated at the top, so I have one here on the middle shelf and at the bottom of the dishwasher. The water pressure increases now and it's pushed through the holes in the spray arms towards your dishes. This is what cleans them, gets all that food off and the pressure along with the high temperature and of course your dishwasher tablets will leave them looking spotless. It's important to also remember that the filter sits at the bottom of the dishwasher. When water cleans the dishes, food can end up falling back down to the base and it's the filters that catch this. Now the filters will keep the food in one place so that the water that's pumped around again will stay nice and clean. For this reason, it's important to not only clean your filters, but also the spray arms, um, the shelves of your dishwasher, the seal and the general inside of your dishwasher too. We're going to start off by cleaning both the filters and the spray arms. It's really important to get these clean before we run a cycle to clean the inside of the dishwasher. First things first, put your rubber gloves on. You might be surprised at some of the gunk you're going to find inside of your dishwasher filters. Now, some people suggest using harsh chemicals, but in my opinion, the best thing to use is water and an old toothbrush. As far as I'm concerned, you can't get any better than that. Now it's time to clean the spray arms. For this job, I use a cloth to wipe them down. You'll often see that there's a slight buildup of lime scale on these. Um, and then to get right in the holes, I use a trusty cotton bud. Um, you can also use a toothbrush for this, but to really get inside the holes, I do find that a cotton bud is best. Once everything's spick and span, it's time to reassemble your dishwasher and get ready for the deep clean. For this, we're going to use vinegar and a plastic or glass dishwasher friendly jug. What we're going to do is pull out the top drawer, place the mug inside and pour in roughly two cups of vinegar. Once that's done, we'll close the door. And put the dishwasher onto the hottest setting it will go. Additionally to doing a vinegar wash, you can also use bicarbonate of soda and also bleach to clean your dishwasher. Bicarbonate of soda is particularly useful for dishwashers that are a bit stinky and also stained. To use it, you sprinkle around a cup onto the base of your dishwasher and run again a really hot cycle, as short as possible. It's really important to remember never to use vinegar and bicarbonate of soda at the same time, otherwise you'll be in for a treat. It will fizz everywhere and may end up coming out of your dishwasher. Bleach can be used in the same way as the vinegar, but using slightly lesser quantity. Um, and this is good for removing mould, again, any really, really dark stains and also any bad smells. However, it's important to remember you should never use bleach on stainless steel as it will damage the finish. While your vinegar cycle is running, you can also get started on cleaning the outside of your dishwasher. All you really need for this is some hot water, some disinfectant and your gloves. I'm going to start by liberally spraying some general antibacterial surface cleaner onto this outside of the dishwasher. Be quite generous with this, don't worry about the floors because you can always clean those up later. Once that's done, I'm going to take a cloth and rub around the surface of the dishwasher. Now this might need some elbow grease, especially if you've got dirty kids running around with their mucky fingers. You'll be amazed at just what comes off the surface of your dishwasher and how white it is once you finish with a quick wipe. 
Don't forget to rinse your cloths regularly to ensure that you're not rubbing dirt back onto your dishwasher. And there we have it, a sparkling clean dishwasher. First thing to do is remove the jug which will now be full of water. So just put that to one side and put it down the sink. And finally, on your list of jobs, is to wipe down the seal that's all around the edge of the dishwasher. This will also be quite grimy, but hopefully the dishwasher cycle will have loosened up some of the dirt with the heat, so it should now be relatively easy to clean. Start by wiping it with a clean cloth, then spray on some disinfectant and go round again. And that's a wrap. Five steps and one natural product to a clean dishwasher. Remember to do this every month or so. We recommend once or twice every couple of months and to keep it fresh, clean and working efficiently. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great cleaning videos um, and follow the link below to head over to our website for more great tips.